it's 6.32. Good evening! Hello and welcome. Happy weekend everybody. I have an unboxing for you today. It's just come, literally today. Uh, I think these guys come out tomorrow. It's from Forge World. I've already sort of opened the top. Uh, I, I put a picture on Instagram, like a little preview. Uh, I think I like doing that and I'm going to continue doing sort of things like that and I'll put pictures of things I'm painting all the rest of it I've refrained from putting pictures of the warlord on there just because I want him to be in the in the big army reveal but anyway let, let's have a look at it in here so this is the uh, sort of unboxing oh I think we've got so that's the only thing that came in the box no I'm only kidding I want to give you the good stuff straight away uh, oh here's the good stuff right here this is it black paint no um, Lord, airbags everywhere. Um, in here is a Caladius, 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 Caladius grav tank with Iliastus cannon. Iliastus, Illustrus, Iliastus. They're just going to get more and more difficult to pronounce, guys. I go, I, I uh, suggest you check out like pronounce dot, dot com or whatever that website is, where you can just put in, uh, you can copy and paste the. Uh, the word and um, it'll just pronounce it for you but so yeah custodians love custodians I'm gonna have them in my chapter so I thought you gotta have a grav tank or two um, as the song goes gotta have a grav tank or two and in here here it is sort of like smashed in there uh, okay have a little look. There are some excellent new releases out today. I just thought I'd um, say that as well for, for Chaos. If you like Araman and if you like, um, oh, what's its name? He rhymes with Fagnus. Anyway, I can't remember, but yeah, um, there's those kind of things out this weekend too. So uh, go check them out. I don't collect Chaos, I don't collect Thousand Suns. So if you do, that's great. If you don't, there's some pretty nice models. This guy checked it. It looks like ET. I think ET checked my package. <laughs> oh, there's a joke about Drew Barrymore somewhere in there. Anyway, uh, here we go. Whoa, you get this uh, obviously nice uh, instruction manual. Wouldn't it be cool if all Games Workshop models, uh, instruction manuals looked like this? Wouldn't it be just, wouldn't it? Th that's that's what we expect, right, guys? That's what we expect. And and then like a little like CAD blowout of the, of the model. It's just brilliant. I mean... Absolutely incredible. It looks like you get 22 parts just from face value and it looks like you attach one deodorant can to another deodorant can and you just put this piece of square bit in the middle and you put these quite tiny looking guns but the rules are awesome for them there and you put these Iliastra, Iliastra, you put these massive accelerator cannons on the top. It's basically a Sakaran on steroids. Uh, some steroids are bad, obviously, but um, in this case, they are very good. Uh, so there you go. That's the Legio Custodes, Custards Caladius Grav Tank. And we will have a look at the pieces. Oh, yeah, it's just been sort of wedged in there. So one of these, I think, will set you back, I think it's £85. And then you're paying like 11 or 12 quid delivery, which is criminal. It's daylight robbery, 12 quid delivery for the... Anyway, um, yeah, so you, you're pretty much paying almost 100 quid for one of these. Uh, I'm going to busily go away, put it in a in a tub of hot soapy water and uh, give it a good old wash. I'll probably leave it overnight, actually, and then give it a good old rinse in the morning. And yeah, lots, lots of detail. I've done really well with this. No slippage. That is a new technical term for uh, resin mould defects, slippage. I'm copywriting that right now. Uh, and here we go. This is one of the side panels. Wow. Bigger than I thought. And we've got the other side here. And on. Wow. And it comes on one of these massive bases. So I think this is the. Uh, I think it is an Imperial Knight base, I think. Um, and you put it just there or there. So it's like a Sakaran, but it hovers. And the rules for the um, 
weapons, which aren't included, which you'd expect, uh, free on the website um, to download. And I'm sort of 99% sure they're going to be in the Prospero uh, book, which I'm sure will come out sort of February time, maybe. Uh, who knows? Oh yeah, this week's releases, if you haven't already checked out Forge World's website, uh, I, I know I'm doing a lot of plugs for them, aren't I? And uh, never never get anything in return, but I do I do a lot of unboxings and plugs and no, nothing, absolutely nothing. They don't, they don't care, absolutely don't care about me. But if you haven't checked out their website, they are, they've got a really good uh, value deal for all the books. But have a look, do your maths and things. That works out, the, each book works out at like £52 each, which is the cheapest sort of way. Go and check it out, do your maths, uh, and um, yeah, have fun with your, with your values. I might pick up all the other books, just because at £52 each, it's just... That's very good value. I know they're made in China, and I know that's uh, probably mass produced and things. But I was really happy with my um, book six. Uh, so, if anything, getting them for fifty-two pound is is a pretty sweet deal. Um, even if they only cost them like twenty quid to, to to produce and get them shipped over here, probably closer to thirty or forty quid for them. Uh, so, anyway, there there your three main parts, and then you get all of these uh, shenanigans going on. So these look like the uh, rear sort of uh, thrusters. These are the the cannons. They are a bit funky looking. They don't look very space marine -y in my opinion because they've got sort of like these wires or are they coils? Who knows? But um, yeah, I'm assuming they go something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they've got the presence. They're not sort of... They're small compared to the tank, if that makes sense. But um, I don't know if they've got the same kind of presence as uh, the... Um, Accelerator cannons on the uh, Sakaran, but there we go. Uh, looks like some armor plating. Looks like some stabilizer fins on there. That looks like the uh, rear of the uh, cannons. Again, some pl uh, plating and also for the the front two weapons. Uh, this is the turret, I think. That'll go on there, like so. Whee! Some more plating, I think that's the... Oh, crap. Um, yeah, so I think that's the uh, anti-grav sort of plating, and that, it's got a special rule, that, you know, grav backwash. Sounds pretty dirty, um, but uh, I think you can have that special rules on the... Um, the heresy sort of grav tanks as well where i think it's for this it's a minus two to hit i think but i think for the grav tanks it's minus one and uh, don't quote me on that but i think it's sort of similar to that um i think they're on the back of the cannons those uh and then you just get a big a big disc god only knows what the hell that really is for apparently that's the stand right there that is the stand so you will need that um, to put this chode of a flying base stand on it. How amazing is it going to look? I mean, that is... It reminds me of one of those Fox's Mints that's just like an iceberg, um, but it's not really transparent. I don't know. That's going to be uh, tricky, but um, hopefully that will work. And uh, you're not going to notice it much anyway, but it's such a big, heavy tank. I mean, it's resin on a flying base at the end of the day, guys. So it needs a chode to prop it up, don't they all? So, uh, and then it's got some sort of canisters. And this looks like the, this looks like the rear of the tank, um, near where you put the fins. These are the front sort of heavy bolters on steroids they look tiny they don't look very menacing they just look like almost combi bolters in my opinion but there you go and another bit of the the cannon and then you've got these little bits as well um for your money uh i don't know just just on face value i think that they are trying to I think it's overpriced straight away. Uh, yes, the design is good. You've got lovely sweeping curves. Um, it's really nice looking. Uh, but f uh, f for your money, go for a Sakaran before they put up a price increase next year of another, what, 10% or, or whatever of silliness it is. I mean, one of these, yeah, like I said, it cost you almost 100 quid. I think it's like 90 um, six quid or something with, with your delivery, which you're gonna have to pay. 
just for the size wise and uh, its usability and things, Sakaran may well be the better option for the majority of you. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to use this unless you've got custodians pretty much or, or a custodian sort of faction in your heresy army. So just bear that in mind. But for me, I want to get it because I love custodians. I've got some custodians, some more coming and things and, uh, you know, wanted to, to give them like a tank pretty much. When I think of custodians, I do have an image of the guardian spears and them on like scimitar jet bikes or whatever, just rolling around. I don't have an image of their grav tanks. I just, I just don't, but it's something quirky, something new and you can pay it gold and it'll just be a bullet magnet. Um, because it's gold and shiny and it's one of those um, human condition things if it looks really pretty and really shiny if it looks really pretty and painted well and it's gold and it looks valuable people will want to destroy it quickly even though it probably won't do very well but it's got decent um, cannons and it's like an armor 13 grav tank at the end of the day not even elder have that do they <laughs> join me on wednesday when i will have uh washed and built this beast and have it on its stand and everything ready for the review uh i'll be posting pictures on instagram of some of the progress and things if you're not already following me on that then i, I advise you to just because you get some sort of sneak peek behind the scenes first looks at, at things um to do with the, the youtube channel anyway thanks for joining me this evening thank you for watching the emperor protects